know you think it's natural blood, but there's a blood from Calvary and from Christ's vein that hit the cross of Calvary and it flows, hallelujah, to the uttermost and it flows to the guttermost. It flows to those that are close to God. It flows to those that are far off from God. Thank God. Thank God for the blood. I remember we used to shout out for that. that we didn't have to say nothing else but Jesus and the blood. I know it was the blood for me. And so as it got closer, the blood began to work. And the blood began to wash them. The blood began to cleanse them. And as they went, nine of them said, I'm cool. I got my 401k. I got my education. My marriage is good. My kids not in prison in trouble. I got everything going on. Hallelujah. But one of them out of the ten said, wait a minute. you can't do that later down the road they gonna find themselves doing it they may not do it exactly like you but they gonna do something I ain't got nobody here where y'all go you go show yourself to the priest go and brag on God and let them know look what the Lord has done look I know you counted me out you walked away from me you divorced me I live without you. But that's when I had a mind of leprosy. But now that I'm healed, hallelujah, I'm going to make it, baby. Everything is going to be alright. Hallelujah. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drive. I'm going to wear. I'm going to live because God is in control. Throw your hands up and give him praise. Somebody shout, I'm healed. You know, preachers got six I'm done's. This is the last one. We all got to participate in this. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Just somebody that ain't dry. Hallelujah. In the middle of this field, we going to sow. When they tore down our school, we get ready to sow. A worship and a praise to say we are gonna get it all back in the name of Jesus my family coming back my business coming back my relationship with God after the day I feel like something is happening on the inside of me I'm getting ready to get back to God I'm back to prayer I'm back to fasting I'm back to my Bible I'm back to dismissing people out of my life that keep that have me tripping amen in the name of 
name of Jesus, I tell you, if you believe God for your breakthrough, believe God for your comeback, open your mouth and give God praise. Come on, praise him. The leopards came back, the one of them fell down, and he worshiped God with a laugh. You want me to shut up? The devil is alive. Open your mouth and give him praise. Now, if we was if we was at a party, the DJ would probably say, "Switch partners, get you another partner, baby, and tell you y'all move, y'all moving too slow. Get you another partner because what I'm telling you something, whatever I'm telling you to do is just like you going to see the priest because you made a comeback. Now, watch this here. Touch your neighbor, look him eyeball to eyeball, shake the hand like you're gonna shake it off, and say. can bless them. Slap your neighbor. Say neighbor. Making a comeback. Making a comeback. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to touch you. Making a comeback. Coming back. Make my comeback. Hey Coco. Come on baby. Come on my brother. Can I touch your hand? Shake your hand. Amen. I'm touching everybody that's coming back. Touch your neighbor and say, I'm the comeback kid. Don't you know who my God is? My God is a resurrected. That means he died. They put him away for three days. But on the third day, he made a comeback. Ah, he's a God of love. God of mercy. He's the God, I'm coming over there. He's the God of the comeback. I'm coming back, you coming back, you're coming back. Oh, I feel it, I feel the Holy Ghost. You're coming back, hey, you're coming, oh, you're coming back. Can't get away, you can't get away. You can run, you can hide, but you can't get away. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. If I, if I, if I was a singer, I'd, I'm coming back. I made a comeback. Now watch this. When you get back, don't have your nose up in the air. Some folk make their comeback, start doing good. Nose so high in the air, if it rain, they'll drown. When you make your comeback, stay humble. Stay appreciative. Y'all don't know, I've been wanting to preach the Insta so bad. I've been minister for 25 years. I started out in Denby, preaching over in what they call Little Saigon. God had me there for a season. I couldn't have a church. I didn't have a church or nothing. I got a church in Detroit on Schoolcraft. We tore it apart. We rebuilt it, renovated it. I still don't know where the money came from and how I got it. And we seen thousands of people get saved. We had so many people that we had to open the overflow. This was before everybody was putting TVs in the church. We had TVs on both sides and over 200 people packed inside of a building that fits about 150. So we started another church on the east side of Detroit. But deep down in my heart, my heart has always been, I wanna come back. I wanna come back home. And you know what Jesus said? And preacher, you know this. It's hard for people, for your family and your kin to listen to, and your own countrymen. They will kill you faster than a. You can go to you can go to Atlanta, Tucky, and everybody think you the best thing since sliced bread. Come back home. Oh, that's just Crawford. Then when you blow up. They want to have a parade for you. They want to, listen, don't serve. Don't act like you know me and serve me when you've been stabbing me in my back all this time. Amen. 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 
you hyped and hooked off the fame. I need real friends. I need real friends. I got friends that don't, don't necessarily go to church. And I love them better than I love a lot of the church folks. All right. Because guess what? I ain't got to be Dr. Crawford. I don't even know where they're going me that. Y'all quiet now. Because I don't care about that. You know why? Because I know where God brought me from. I know how he delivered me from selling drugs in these streets. I ain't got nobody like that in here. You ain't, you ain't out here, not today. I know what it's like to snort cocaine all through the night. Saying I'm not addicted. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? But one day, he saw me from afar off. And I came to him, and he told me to report to the priest. I went to church. My uncle in the church, God rest him. Bishop Morris Jackson, Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, Bishop Milton Jackson. I'm a Jackson. Y'all know the Jacksons. Whatever. Amen. Amen. Went to my uncle's church. And thank God he had a history of the streets. So he knew how to get that leprosy off of me. Once you get clean, your job is to get somebody else clean. Maybe this is why the devil don't ever want you to get clean. Because if you get clean, you're going to get somebody else. And the devil don't want to go to hell by himself. Somebody's going with him. It won't be me. And that's not because I read my Bible. That's not because I've done anything wonderful. It's because of the grace of God. It's by grace that we're saved and it's his mercy. Now I know if you had the Cadillac, like if you had that billion dollar ticket, we couldn't sit you down from praising God. But if you just act like you got it right now, and put your little praise on it right there, with everything you're going through, one more time, one, two, three. What's wrong with y'all? I'm making a comeback. You know, and then it's the nation. What would it be like if the city caught on fire for God just because of you and your house? That's what Joshua said. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Come. Come on up here. Give your life to Christ. Another leper. Another leper. Another leper. There's another one. Come on. You might be back there in the tent and you're trying to resist, but the Holy Ghost has got you under arrest in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Now listen. If you hear me telling you to come, I want you to stay right there. But if you hear God telling you to come, I want you to break the chain and run. Come on. Preacher, I'm already saved. I don't need to come up there, but I do need prayer. Come on. Come on. Can I pray with you? Can we pray? Now listen, when I pray, honey, I ain't, I'm not powerful. But my prayer, mix with your prayer. Face me, would you? If you will. My prayer, mix with your prayer. See, you pray for me. And I wish I could do that. But I'm crazy enough to believe you got that same kind of power. All it takes is faith. I don't know what you're going through. But I hear it in the Holy Ghost. There's somebody in the crowd that just lost a loved one. Real soon, you just lost a loved one. Heartbroken. Mm. God's going to mend your heart. Somebody in the crowd got a got a diagnosis from the doctors. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. But you're going to be healed today. Somebody in here bogged down with bills and debt and debt. You're living off credit cards. God's getting ready to pay your debt off. Let me shout off that myself. Now I'm not saying that to hype you up. I'm saying that to hope you up, to help you up. After today, we pray. We gonna have an urgency to get in the house. And listen, 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 listen. Let me get the, let me get the, let me get it straight. Stop going to Bible believing churches. What do you say? Stop going to Bible believing churches because they all think they believe the Bible. Find you a church that's involved in the community, helping people, loving on people, not scared of drug addicts, not scared of homeless people. If they got degrees and furs and, and all of that, get out of that. That's a house of leprosy. It's dressed up leprosy. But find a place where they love on people like you were. What I look like going to just because I got my doctor's degree, I'll sit up and go sit up with a Harvard graduate. I'm going to the hood. I'm from the hood. I've been to the White House. I've been with the president. Me and Clinton sat down and had dinner together. That don't impress me. I'm trying to get my people to Jesus. I come back to y'all told y'all just stuff uh President Clinton and him just had dinner. Okay, what does that do for you? Nothing. What does my doctor degree do for you? Nothing. But if I give you this gospel and I get you to get one person like you and you break the leprosy off of them, then you'll break the leprosy off of their house. Then you'll break the leprosy off of the city. You'll break the leprosy off the state. You'll break the leprosy off the nation. Come to me. I'm going to pray. We done. We done. It's for the tear time. We said, we said we were having faith in folk today. Faith, faith, folk fest. Hallelujah. Father, here we are. With your children. With the apple of your eye. We pray in the name of Jesus for every person that's here. I don't know individually what everybody's going through. But you got eyes to see from afar off. And Lord, they got a seed in them or else they wouldn't even want to listen to this. God birthed that seed. Let that seed begin to blossom again and, and, and grow again. Help us to keep our eyes off of other people who say they're Christians, but maybe sometimes don't act like it, like me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help me to keep my eyes off them and, and they keep their eyes off me. I'm running this race for you in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent. We walked away. We got in our own self. Yeah, the church did some stuff wrong. The preacher said something wrong. But God, you ain't never been wrong. I'm so close, not even going to church. Now I'm starting to whether, believe whether there's a God or not. That's how far off I done got. But after the day, I'm bringing my heart back to you. In the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Sins that I know, sins that I don't know. Lord, I believe Jesus lived, he died, and he rose again. And I ask that same Jesus come into my heart and make me new. I believe by faith. I'm no longer a leper. But I am a son, I'm a daughter, 
I am saved. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, listen. Go, be baptized in Jesus' name. Receive the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Join a kingdom-minded church that's helping people. Stop getting caught up with who can sing the best and the choir and, and all of that. That, the, yeah. that choir ain't following you home. You got to go somewhere where God will take your life and help bless somebody else's life. In the name of Jesus. I love y'all. Listen.